New at 10, six months after three children drowned while they were trying to cross the Tonto Basin, a proposed bridge that would have saved future lives when that floods is now in jeopardy of losing its funding. Dean 12's Michael Doudna joins us now with the reasons why. Michael. Guys, the state Senate says they're ready to end this session. However, their counterparts in the House say they're not quite ready yet. And bottom line here is that the bridge that so many have fought hard for well, could be stuck in limbo. This is the worst catastrophe I've ever seen in Tonal Basin. It was the day after Thanksgiving when raging floodwaters washed away Colby, Austin, and Willa. The way this creek is, with the way that things run around here, the debris, the rocks, the rushing water. The three names are the most recent names of those who have now lost their lives in Tonto Creek. Charlie Morning, Joni Woods. Lonnie Klein remembers some of the others. I can't remember Mike and, and Tim's last name. For years, those living near Tonto Creek have pushed for a bridge to save lives. The measure, getting bipartisan support this session, but then the coronavirus pandemic put everything in limbo. If we sign a die, then the legislation, then this legislative year ends, all bills are dead. And it's disappointing to me that, that I hear that they have the votes to go ahead and sign a die. What the legislature will do here is unknown. Two chambers are divided, but Representative Cook, who sponsored a plan to fund a bridge, says he will vote against ending session. But if lawmakers adjourn, building a bridge will need to wait once again. So we got to get this done because it's only a matter of time until you know, it's it's someone that you know or someone that I know uh, that uh, drowns in this creek again. Now, the state is not the only option here. You could also see funding come from the Fed. Senator Sinema herself has tried to push this process along. However, when a bridge would actually be built, well, is still in limbo. We're in Phoenix. Michael Doudna, 12 News.